Hello, if you're watching this, I'm already in the Caribbean, off to my next cruise contract. And as I'm getting ready to go, I'm going to film everything that I pack that I think is important to bring. But before I get packing, the first thing I need to do is cut off all my hair. Because while this is awesome for Chicago winters, it is not awesome for the Caribbean. I got my hair cut, so I'm all ready. And this brings up something that I almost forgot. Uh, you should make a packing list because I forgot to put hair clippers on that. But since I cut my own hair, that's going to be something useful because between now and the next time I come home, I'm probably going to need another haircut. So I have here all of the clothes that I'm bringing for my contract, uh, except for my work shirts, not pictured, so you don't know what company I work for. I would say that I definitely trend towards the more minimalist style of packing. I, most people probably have more clothes than I do, but I'm pretty good about not really caring what I wear and being able to put things together so that they kind of match a lot of stuff. Uh, so in terms of bags, I usually bring one backpack to the plane and then a collapsible duffel bag. Uh, you're not going to have a lot of room, so you're going to want to collapse things, so you, a big bag is just going to be kind of a pain. I also have a small laundry bag. This opens up to be bigger than my backpack is. And speaking of laundry, on board, it's just a total pain. I, I did the math, and one washer and dryer works out to have to be shared between about 18 people. And that's when they're working. I, occasionally, we would be low on water, and so crew would be told, try not to do your laundry for another two days. So in that theme, pack however much underwear you think you're going to need, and then more, and then a little bit more. I have two weeks worth, and then I have almost as many socks. Uh, I personally am allowed to wear boat shoes with my uniform, and since I'm going to the Caribbean, it's gonna be warm. I don't need socks with my boat shoes. Here they are, they're brown, pretty standard. I also have white sneakers that I could wear with most things. They're pretty casual and they're pretty comfortable and a pair of pretty plain running shoes. Uh, these aren't my favorite. Actually, these ones are my favorite, but these don't go with anything. So in the theme of trying to get stuff that kind of matches each other, those are probably better. Also kind of going back to laundry and things matching, all of my socks and underwear match each other because somehow inevitably things get lost. On my first contract, I had to have white socks. That was just a weird stipulation of my uniform and almost none of them matched. And so there were two separate pairs where I lost one of the socks. And then somehow one of the times I did laundry, I got a pair of socks that I'd never seen before. I also really recommend undershirts, even if they're not required for part of your uniform, because you keep the sweat inside the undershirt so your outermost layer stays cleaner and you can wear it a couple more times. And then for my uniform, I wear khakis. So that's pretty much the end of the stuff that I need for my uniform. Even though I'm going to the Caribbean, I know that sometimes crew quarters can get pretty cold, and just ships in general are air-conditioned sometimes too far. So I like having one pair of sweatpants that are long to keep warm. Then I have a couple of pairs of running shorts. These are pretty quick dry, so if I had to wear them, I could swim in them. And then this pair is reversible, so it's white and black. So it kind of looks like two pairs, and it looks like you have more clothes than you actually do. And then swimsuit and goggles. I like having a hat to keep the sun out of my eyes, and then sunglasses are a must. I don't recommend bringing sunglasses that are worth anything. Those are like $5. I have lost a few pairs in the water before. A belt, again, mine is reversible, brown and black, so that it looks like you have more clothes than you actually do, more things to match. And then a cheap digital watch. I, again, have lost a watch in the water. Uh, it was leather and I hit it against something and the band just ripped open. Then one pair of jeans. Uh, your personal clothes, you're really not gonna wear that often because uniforms just take up such a big part of your day. And I'm also one of those people who feels like jeans barely ever get dirty and I will only wash them once they're visibly stained or something. Uh, and then a warm sweater type layer for when it's cold down in crew quarters. A lightweight waterproof layer. And then I have uh, two workout type shirts that I don't care. This one's like a jersey material, but then this is just something that I don't care if I sweat in a lot. I only bring one tank top because I don't really like tank tops that much, but. If it's really hot, I'll wear one. One long sleeve t-shirt and then three casual shirts. I personally, when I get done with a contract, hate the shirts that I brought so much I barely want to see them. So I just bought three new shirts thinking they're brand new to me. I won't get tired of them for a while. So this one's a cool print. Uh, this one's like a color block. And then I have one with buttons. Um, I'm also going to grab a pair of black shorts for when I want to look a little bit nicer. So you might be thinking that this doesn't seem like nearly enough clothing, but again, you're only wearing your personal clothes for maybe a couple hours after your shift. They don't get dirty often. You don't need to wash them that often. And everyone has this many clothes. You start to be able to recognize people based on like, oh, he always wears that t-shirt and everyone does it. So nobody cares. So if you're checking a bag, you might need to worry about whether or not that's going to get lost. So I recommend bringing just a small enough amount of things in your carry-on to get by if that does happen. So like one full uniform, a few pairs of underwear, all of your toiletries, any medications, important documents, stuff like that. Also at this point, I'm going to take out the things that I'm going to be wearing to the airport and on the plane because obviously I don't have to pack those. I recommend wearing the bigger things that take up more space, like the clunkiest pair of shoes that you're bringing so that you have more open space in your suitcase. 
These are all the non-clothing items I bring. Like I said, my hair clippers so I can cut my hair. Toiletries are pretty personal, but these are the things that I bring. Uh, deodorant. I like bar soap, so I bring a few. I always bring a new toothbrush with me. I don't know why, it's just my thing. This size isn't allowed in a carry-on, and this is a three ounce thing. And I feel like the small tubes are just not worth the size for how little is in it. So I just like squeeze some into this and it lasts me the entire time. Dental floss, a comb, sunscreen. So technically, according to our handbook, we're supposed to shave every day. And in the past, they've completely ignored that rule because they don't really care. But the captain who just got hired is career Navy. So I think there's a chance that he might actually be particular about it. So I brought my shaving stuff. I also have Benadryl, and I really like having travel packs of tissues. And then prescription medications. I had to get an override from my insurance to be able to get a three month supply, which was a total pain. I took like four calls back and forth with them trying to get a pharmacy that would fill it. It's a total pain. So seriously, if you need prescriptions, fill them as far ahead of time as you possibly can. One quick thing I forgot to say is that traveling internationally with medication can be a little bit dicey. So I personally bring a paper copy of my prescription with me. So that's all my inhalers. Uh, you're gonna need your important documents, uh, especially your passport. Uh, this is the first contract that I've had where I have to fly to another country to board. Every other time it's been in the US, I've just gone to the US port. So this time I need a special letter from my employer authorizing that I am going to that country to work on a boat, but not through that country. So it's a certain type of visa or whatever. It's already been taken care of. I just need to travel with that. Uh, then for electronics, I like bringing my laptop. Some people say they can get away with the tablet. You're probably gonna want a camera. And last time I brought my GoPro and I forgot the memory card. So seriously, remember your memory card. And then I bring a lot of earbuds. I have both the Lightning and the Aux. And then soundproof ones are amazing because ships are so loud. Obviously, you're also gonna want chargers for all of your electronics. I'm super weird and I like bringing a foam roller. You're gonna want stuff to do in your free time. I like to juggle, so I bring my juggling balls. Also a thing of Sudoku, because I'm a big nerd. And then a water bottle and a travel mug. I like water and I like coffee. So having these means that I don't have to use a cup every time, so it kind of cuts down on waste. So I personally do not bring mementos. I know a lot of people say, bring magnets because you can stick your pictures up on literally any wall. And it's true that most surfaces are magnetic because cruise ships are made out of steel. I didn't bring anything in my first contract and I didn't really miss out. But my second time I figured, hey, why not? Other people do it. And honestly, I don't think it really made any difference. It was just one more thing that I had to think about packing and trying not to wrinkle photos and stuff. You know, if I really want to look at pictures, I have a bunch saved on my phone of me and my friends doing things. So I would just as soon not worry about it. Uh, I also wouldn't bring anything that you would be absolutely devastated if you lost. Everything I have managed to lose has been stuff that I really didn't care that much about, like a pair of socks here or there. I'd rather just be on the safe side. So this is everything that I'm packing for my cruise contract. I hope it helps if you're trying to figure out what you need to pack. So while I am gonna be without Wi-Fi for a few months while I'm on a ship, I already filmed and edited a bunch of videos that I'm going to schedule to upload during the course of time that I'm gone. So my hair is going to jump back to being longer in the next video that I publish. So the next time you see me post haircut is going to be videos that were filmed later than today. It's like February 24th, I think, somewhere around there. So if you do wanna see videos of my upcoming travels, those will be coming in a few months. But in the meantime, enjoy the ones that I already filmed in the past. My channel has like no time continuity whatsoever.